having the know-how to build a bike and having the parts to build a bike from scratch is only one of the things that I think make bike modding and building important. The other thing is having a creative mind. I actually truly believe that like the bike community, especially the ones that are building, especially retro bikes, um, are some of the most creative people I know. Uh, a perfect example of that is uh, schoolyard, schoolyard Projects, this guy here. Um, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a bunch already that are uh, on the um, uh, Rally Moon Run that I built. I got a little like, pizza cable tidy thing on, the, on one of the cables. That was his idea. He came up with that idea. He's done loads of different things, even put like beads on there and stuff. Hopefully I've got some videos on here so you can see what it looks like. Very, very unique, very, very cool little mods. And loads of people start doing that as well now and it's super cool. But what else is there? I'm always on the hunt for slightly different components. Um, maybe if it's like different anodized or a little bit retro or something just literally bonkers that looks a bit weird that will just stand out on the bike. But being a creative type of person, I've started getting all these adverts recently for laser engravers. And the more I saw them, the more I realized that's what I needed. So I reached out to lovely people at Xtool and said, hey, do you think uh, I could get one of these to uh, mess about some bikes with? And they said yes. So. Let's take the laser engraver and some uh, shiny bike parts and see what sort of thing we can come up with. But before we start playing with freaking lasers, let's see what's inside the box. The packaging was well nice on this box and it had all these examples of things you could do. Weirdly though, there was no bike parts, so um, that was strange. The manual that it came with was uh, nice and thick, lots of information in it, and lots of really detailed photos. So if you're someone like me who's not really into words and doesn't do that too well, uh, you, you'll probably do okay. And this really nice cloth, tip top. Inside the box, you'll get uh, several other boxes uh, and the machine itself. Um, not being funny, the fact that these boxes are green were really nice. Uh, I like green and they were quite exciting opening all these green boxes. Here's a, a pirate puzzle I've been working on. Uh, it took me quite a long time, but I'm pretty proud of it. Moment of truth, the big reveal. Oh, satisfying, no? The unit itself though is, uh, is made out of this kind of green perspex glass, kind of plastic. Perspex. I don't know what the word I'm looking for here. Uh, and uh, it's uh, to protect you from the lasers. So it is designed to stop the lasers coming through, but it also looks sick, right? Inside those lovely green boxes I mentioned before, you've got stuff like the power cable and other cables uh, and then a load of supplies so these are all like load of the test bits you can try uh, we'll try some of those in a minute just to kind of like get a head around it all and a very satisfying sounding extractor hose for extracting things it is a tube that is super fun to play with yeah i think you can have a go so I'm going to test it out with some of these parts here. I've got this metal business card, some spacers, leather patch. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Uh, some top caps and then uh, some key rings as well before we get onto the cranks. This does work with uh, apps on your phone and tablets and things like that, but I've connected it straight into my computer as it was so easy to kind of just plug it in and it fit on my desk as well. So it didn't take up loads of room. It has this cool feature where you can use the laser itself to actually mark out where it is so you don't have to like guess completely. Okay then, uh, so I actually did have a little uh, attempt, you might have spotted then that it was a little bit etched on there already. Uh, this is also sped up eight times just to be clear, it's not actually quite this fast but it is very fast um, but I thought the best thing to test this out with would be the Save Old Bike Shield.
Not gonna lie, when I pulled out, I was crazy surprised how good this was. That top line is where I kind of messed up the settings, um, but this is why these business cards are kind of quite handy to kind of like practice with. Um, but whoa, how freaking cool is that? My dad's birthday is coming up and uh, it came with this stone coaster, so I thought I might uh, X some on there about beer and give it to him for his birthday. But we all know why we're here. Let's move on to the bike part, shall we? So let's start with this top cap. Uh, I chose the green one because I was quite interested to see how this would look kind of etched out. And what I'm gonna put on it, save our bikes. The framing feature really does make a massive difference. Being able to like actually see exactly where it's gonna kind of etch on there or uh, engrave on there really does make the difference um, it makes it way easier to kind of position up you can just put measurements in the software as well if you're that clever but um, that's not my style I'm just gonna wing it um, I took the two hits on this because I didn't like the font too much it didn't seem very bold um, but uh, I did change the font and it did look better So before I moved on to the cranks, I wanted to do these key rings, um, and I've also got the spacers. Uh, the key rings came out particularly good. I opened up briefly then just to see if it was working correctly. It's hard to see the actual etching of the engraving through the actual glass on this one. But as you can see, it came out super cool. And if you agree with me that they're super cool, um, I've actually made like a bunch. Um, so if you fancy picking up one, it would help me massively and help fund this channel. And I know a lot of you are going crazy for my stickers as usual. Um, I'm in the middle of kind of redesigning and kind of restocking a load of your favorites. Uh, this is actually a really good time to tell me any color variants that you might want down in the comments below. Um, but if you are interested in, I've just dropped a load of them. If you are interested in one of these, the Sable Bites keychain, uh, I don't think I'll make these again. I just had a load, so I thought I'd make them for this video. Um, so if you want one, they're available on the website now, along with stickers and all sorts of stuff. Go have a look. At this point, I was really starting to get quite surprised about how easy it was becoming. Like everything I thought of in my head just worked. So I thought I'd make it a little bit tricky and try to do something a little bit more detailed. Um, it's still just the same font that we just used on that last one, but just on a smaller bit. Um, but again, it just works. Come on then, let's do it. Let's do the cranks. So I decided to start with the non-drive side, just in case I messed anything up. Uh, and this is where I kind of came into its limits. Uh, and it's mainly just about positioning. So I've put the logo right to the far side and you can see the S hasn't engraved as well as the other letters, purely because it was right on the edge of its capabilities of the, like, the angle of the laser, I guess. Um, it's still kind of etched, but just not that well. Um, if I hadn't moved this, I could maybe have gone over it again or potentially have moved it into the right position, but I, I ain't got steady hands like that, so uh, I've moved on. I decided to go for like a tattoo theme for the cranks. I thought it might look quite cool to give it like almost like a flash sheet style thing. Um, so I hit it with a load of different traditional style tattoos and um, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I just made a little time lapse for the front crank or the drive side crank um, but I kind of got the hang of it by this point point. Um, I still as a couple of them aren't quite sharp around the edges where the crank kind of curves slightly uh, and slash it's just to the edge of the the kind of the the, the lasers capabilities if you like um, anything right in the middle works perfectly but I think it's more the curvature of the crank but uh, yeah I'm well chuffed. If I'm honest, well chuffed is probably a bit of an understatement. This is probably the, like, the coolest thing that I've ever created on this channel. Like, this is, this takes customizing bikes to a whole new level. Like, that's, oh, breathe. 
But seriously, this thing is gonna become a massive part of what I do on this channel. Um, I definitely want to, there's a few things I wanna try out and bit practice a little bit more. Like for example, I quite like this to continue here and stuff. Like it looks amazing here, but like where else can it go? Um, also the fact that depending on the file, I think it does it in different tones. So kind of like learning the difference of, and I think it's probably the power so when I did that, the power was X. And then when I did this, the power was X. So I need to learn a little bit more. But I also have endless of ideas of kind of, endless of ideas that of other things that I, we can do. Um, I'm thinking handlebar logos, seat posts. Seat posts are boring as hell. How can we make them jazzy and more exciting? Um, so yeah, I have a lot of ideas. I wanna know what you would do though, because usually all my best ideas come from you guys. So pop in the comments below, let's have a little conversation about what the possibilities are with this thing. Like etching something on your frame. But I mean, that's really, that just hit me with like a ton of bricks then. I could like customize frames and like put logos onto the frame through the paint maybe. I don't know, like I say, the, the possibilities could be endless with this thing. I really don't know at this stage. Um, so yeah, massive thanks to XTool for sending this out to me. Um, it is a hefty piece of kit and it is gonna be a big part of this channel going forward. So thank you very much for that. Um, I'll link them down below. So if you do wanna check it out and learn a bit more, do have a look. Um, I know that I haven't gone really deep into the specifics of hows and stuff, but it's, I, I, I don't know. I'm learning as I go along. Uh, so this is there definitely gonna be part one of this journey. Um, I think if you are into this sort of thing or bikes and that, do subscribe because this boy is gonna be in every video probably from now on when we build stuff. I'll be, I'll be engraving anything. Wheels, do like rims and stuff. God, so much. But as always, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you are watching this on the day that I posted it, it is probably gonna be quite late. Um, I usually make these quite late at night, the night before I post, and uh, I know I haven't finished this. Um, so I'm probably still trying to upload it and stuff. Sorry. But usually, we post videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. Uh, and if you want to check these videos out more often, do feel free to hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a bunch and it's totally free. Uh, and if you want to watch another video because you can't wait till next week's video, that one there is a particularly good one.